Hi, my name is Andy from HDI, and today we're excited to announce the addition of the Air Server application with every HDI interactive screen. Um, you, as you'll see here, we've now got direct access to the Air Server application by clicking on this button. And what does that mean? That means we can now share wirelessly from every device using any content without the use of any third party application. Here's my Windows 10 device, complete with touchback, straight to the screen, as simple as that. When you're at the point in your session where you want to share content from devices, if you've never used your device to share wirelessly before, we've actually produced a little guide back on our user interface here by hitting the home button. You'll now see the guide button here, which now includes Air Server application. And from here, we give you um, all the instructions you'll need to be able to connect and cast via Miracast, AirPlay, and Google Cast. Once you're ready to share content in your session, uh, you might want to have control from the screen as to who can share their content and when. How you manage that, um, in the bottom left here, there's the option within the Air Server uh, um, instructions to add and disable prompts for each protocol. So we've got AirPlay, Googlecast, and Miracast. Um, if we go into Miracast, for example, we can actually allow everybody to connect, switch the protocol off completely, or enable a prompt here. Um, by putting the prompt on for Miracast, when my colleague using a Windows 10 device tries to connect, it will actually ask me first whether we want to say yes or no and allow them to be able to share their content. If we hit on yes, they'll be able to display their content. If we hit on no, it will knock them back and allow someone else to present. Your participants will be able to find the screen by using this name in the bottom right hand corner. That's how they'll find the Air Server application on their device and be able to stream their content to the screen. If you wish to change that name and personalize that for your participants, you'll just come down to the menu again in the bottom left hand corner here by clicking on there and you'll notice friendly name in the middle of those options. If you click onto here, you'll actually it'll bring up the keyboard and you'll have the ability to personalize that as in how you'd like. So if I just call this demo 65 inch Andy, click OK. One of the things you'll have to do is reboot the app for that to take. So we're just gonna restart the application by finding the S of a button again. And then what you'll notice here now is we've got demo 65 inch Andy, and that's what we'll advertise for my participants on their devices to wirelessly share. Uh, for people with devices that will connect via AirPlay, so Apple devices, like my iOS device here, my iPhone, um, you'll need to connect directly to the um, wireless access point down here, either by QR coding onto there, or by just finding that in your Wi-Fi settings and connecting directly to that. Um, once connected, you'll swipe down or up, depending on what device you have, and you'll see Demo 65 in your AirPlay options. From there, you'll just click on there um, to connect and you'll be wirelessly streaming straight away. So here we go. There's my iOS phone ready to go. For more information, jump on our website.